this is going to be a little different to my other car boot videos as this is actually going to be an unboxing. I've just got back from the car boot and I bought these two big boxes of books for a pound each. Hi, I'm Tina and I'm addicted to books. I buy bargain books to read and then resell. So at the car boot today, I picked up these two balls of yarn because as you know, I'm also addicted to crochet and these are really thin yarn. So I'm gonna make some very small, hopefully brooch type things with that. Just a little aside, because that's what I always pick up at the car boot when I find it cheap. And a crochet book. Although having flicked through it, I'm not sure how many of these are really makeable, but it was 50p, so it was worth a go. Um, that's just for my collection and my amusement and my crochet hobby. Um, yeah, so for 50p, not bad. And then my husband picked up this set, um, the Icewind Dale trilogy by R.A. Salvatore, and I got quite excited when, he, when I saw this. He paid £1.50 for it. However, um, there is one missing, and that's really annoying. <laughs> um, so if this had been the whole set, it's probably worth between £25-£30, as it's just the two, although they are in quite nice condition. I don't know, might be able to get 10 to 15 for them, and annoyingly it's books two and three. So it's not really even a read because the first one's missing, so I'm not sure. I'm either going to have to look out and see if I can find the first one to make the set for a read and then a sell, or just sell the two on their own. Um, but yeah, one to look out for. Anything Forgotten Realms really is uh, always got good resale value. But um, yeah, I played Icewind Dale, the computer game, so I don't know how close this follows that or if it's just a story set in the same universe. But yeah, a couple of nice books there my husband found for me. Then, right at the end of the car boot, I hadn't really found any books at all going round, which was really unusual for me. Just there was hardly anything there book-wise that was going for a reasonable price. And then um, I got to this chap at, near the end, and he was obviously sort of house clearancy, and he had this big box of books, and I started looking through them. And he said, you're the first person that showed any interest in that. You can have the lot for a pound. Save you just looking through it. Just take the whole lot for a pound. And I'd already seen a couple in there that I was interested in. So I said, OK. And he said, actually, I've got some more books. And then he grabbed this box out and said, do you want these as well? And the first one I saw was a Brandon Sanderson, which I'm obviously interested in. So I said, what, the same deal as the other box? And he said, yes. So, um, yeah, so a pound for this box as well. So I've got no idea what I've got. I thought I would go through it with you and see if we manage to make a deal. Well, two pound for that many books is going to be a deal, isn't it? <laughs> but let's see what we've got. I'm not sure what the best way to do this is. I'll stay here and I'll pull them out one at a time and we'll see what we've got. So we'll start with the box that I started looking at first. So here we have The Air of Night by Helen Lowe. That looks very fantasy. Don't know much about that one. But it is, oops, sorry, trying to get you in the light, but it is book one which is always a good thing to see if you want to read it or not. And it is 2012, this one. So it's not a first edition or anything, but uh, interesting fantasy book by Helen Lowe. And we have, this looks fantasy as well, Karen Miller, The Awakened Sage. And if you see here, it looks like there's a set there. Which one's this? Well, it's not even on that. Oh, it's the conclusion to the Kingbreaker series. So that'll be book four or something. Um, pretty good condition. wonder if there are any more of them in there. Kelly Armstrong, Stolen. I think I've actually already got this one. Just having a quick look on my shelf behind me. Oh, actually, strangely enough, it might be one I'm missing from my set. 
we'll have to have a look in more detail later but um yeah she's been on my radar before oh, one to keep an eye on one to, for me to look into and see if i'm missing it and i shall make a comment if i have we have the uncrowned king by rowena corey daniel book two these are the ones that i was looking at when um he said we to take the whole lot for a pound because that one is book three and that one is book one so yeah the chronicles of king roland's kin that one's got some stickers or something on it that might come off or yeah i think that's something stuck on it rather than uh, it being damaged so they're uh, not in too bad condition these ones and they look like a nice little trilogy so um, I think they'll be a read and then a sell. So that's nice. Probably made my money back there pretty easily. Oh, they're a bit dusty. What's this one? The Black Veins. No idea on that one. In a world where magic thrives in a secret city corners, a group of magicians embark on a road trip. And it's the no love interest found family adventure you've been looking for. Dead Magic, book one, 2019. Hmm. Looks very uh, teen read. Big Ben, isn't he the one who was in a TV series? Not sure, that one probably be straight to a charity shop. Oh, mind you, this is Jenny Dale. And then there's this one, also by Jenny Dale, abandoned. And a lot of rubbish on it. So cute little children's books. They might sell together maybe. What's this? Too shy for show and tell. Kitty book. That'll probably just go straight into the charity shop. Captain Caterpillar. Again, help your child to count. That'll probably go straight to charity, I expect. Quite cute. Four o'clock Friday, poems by John Foster. Do like poetry. Probably I'd like to give that a read and then that'll probably go to charity. What's this one? Oh, classic Secret Garden. <laughs> I love that book as a kid. I haven't read it in ages actually, so uh, that might be a nostalgia read, but probably no value. Oh, I've got a few more kids' books. Leaping. Be charity. Oh, look. How to make pop ups. Usborne. Usborne books were good, weren't they, back in the day? It's like a nice little crafty thing to how to make things pop up cards. That might be quite a fun thing to do on a rainy day. Oh, look. I can make a Christmas card. <laughs> Silly. Um, and we have a messy baby, another kid's book. Oh, it's another Jenny Dale book. Double trouble. The little terrors have arrived. So these are all Puppy Patrol ones. So these might go as a bundle. Um, no idea what the age of them is. They're quite cheap. So let's have a look at the dates. A bit dirty in there, but not too bad. And da -da -da. Let's have a look. 1997 first published um, so not a massive amount of age to them. well I suppose there is a lot of age to them now thinking what year we're in now gosh doesn't time for a light fly <laughs> um, but yeah they might go as a bundle maybe oh look it's 234 of Puppy Patrol uh, all you want to know about fruit not really sure what I would want to know about fruit. Is it telling me what to do with it or just what it is? It just seems to be telling you what a fruit is. That's a bit strange. It could be charity shop. Spot goes to school. That could be charity shop. Oh, it's one of those pop-up books. Show and tell book. <laughs> 
healthy choices for lunch. Let me give that a flick through and then that'll probably go to charity. Oh look, it's a kids book. Try to drink at least six glasses of plain water every day. <laughs> A complete cooking guide to home baking. I'll click flick through there, see if there's anything interesting in there for me to uh, take note of. But I guess that's a charity shop book. Oh, this is more up my street. Chocolate. <laughs> Chocolate taste, 100 mouth-watering recipes. I guess it's, sorry, not the camera there. I'm guessing that, um, oh, that does look good. Shame I was trying to go on a diet for the summer, eh? <laughs> I'm sure I will look through that and make use of it, unfortunately. Right, that's the first box. So out of that, we've got cookery book. It's probably... A couple of cookery books worth a look through. Um, nostalgia read. One I might need. Pile for charity. And be interesting to see if they got number one of this set in the other box. So this grabbed my eye when he pulled this one out because it's a uh, Brandon Sanderson, Warbreaker. Um, I haven't actually, I think I said before in my other videos, I haven't read Brandon Sanderson yet. So um, I'm always on the lookout for them because I know they sell well and I want to read them. So this one is, oh, sorry, 19, first published 2011. Actually, it might be a first edition paperback of this type anyway. Just trying to see what set it was. Warbreaker. Not sure. I need to look it up and I will let you know. How do you pronounce her name? Do you think that's Case and Calendar, maybe? The Conquered? This looks like semi fantasy, maybe. What's the date on this one? Oh, it's got a map. Must be a fantasy if it's got a map, eh? This one's 2019. Not heard of her? Oh, I've actually been after this book for a while. Um, the Book Thief. Uh, saw the film. Um, I presume this is the book of the film anyway. Um, that's quite good. I've always wanted to read that. So that will go on my read list, on my read pile. The Gargoyle by Andrew Davidson. This looks like another type of romance <clears throat> witchy type thing. And this, oh look, it's got nice black edges. <laughs> Warning, don't read with wet hands. Um, so this is 2008, 2009. Yeah. Not heard of him. Have Fire Becomes Her by Rosie Thor. Oh, quite dusty. Need to bring the Hoover up. This one's twenty twenty two. That's a pretty new book. Um, this one is Peter. V. Brett, The Painted Man. I think I had some other Brett books. Oh no, I'm thinking Brent Weeks, not Peter Brent. Brett. It was only 2 99 at the time from Waterstones. What year is this? 2010. This is their first edition paperback, 2011. Uh, sorry, 2013. Get it right, Tina. Um, so it looks fantasy type. What else do we have? 
you have Richard Morgan. Oh, signed the Forbidden Planet. It says up there. And it is. That's a bonus. Richard Morgan, The Steel Remains. Signed from the Forbidden Planet. This looks like another fantasy book. I will look up and see more about it, but I don't know if this will sell on its own um, being signed. It might do. Depends how rare it is, I guess. Uh, that's quite nice. The Goddess by Ben Peak. This one's 2015. Well, written in 24, first published in 2014. This one's 2015. This looks like a. The gods have fallen, but their powers live on. Looks like an interesting book. I wonder if that's a one off or if that's a trilogy. I should look that one up. <laughs> Cloud Atlas. I bought this in the charity shop for myself the other day to read, but this is in much better condition. Um, in fact, I think it's exactly the same copy, like cover wise. But uh, yeah, mine was a bit mat tatty. Um, where is it? It's up there somewhere. But yeah, so. It's a 2012 book. Because it's obviously, yeah, after the film came out, they republished it with the film characters. Love the film. Still haven't read this yet. Um, I don't know if it's got any resale value on its own. Probably not. But. Uh, I might keep this one if I like it and give the other one back to charity because it was in a much worse condition. Oh, nice. Kelly Armstrong, Spellbound. I'm not sure if... Oh, I have got this one in paperback. Um, but this is the hardback. And it is their first edition, I believe. So first edition hardback of Spellbound. That's quite nice. And the last one. Master of One by Jada Jones and Danny Bennett. It's a Harper team. Uh, 2020 and this looks like a first edition yes it's actually says down there first edition it's in really nice condition actually considering the box it was in um, always interested whether the actual covers underneath are any good but no it's just a plain cover underneath uh, so yeah I don't know if that's got any value at all probably not but intriguing so yeah and that's it the boxes are empty so I think for two pounds I did pretty well there so to summarize we have a massive stack of fantasy books ones I want to read random ones I have no, no idea about a trilogy and I might want to read these might bundle together or they might go back to charity and yeah, as I say, lots of fantasy books that look quite intriguing, need to find out about. Do a bit of research and see whether it's worth getting the other ones to go with to read. And don't forget the signed one, of course, which was a bonus on top. <laughs> so I'm quite pleased with that. Now I need to uh, get the hoover and wash my hands. So yeah, not a bad day's car booting. Right, so going back through that and just having a quick look. So those ones will be back to the charity shop. Those ones I have no idea, so I won't count those. And the ones that I'm keeping to read or and possibly resell um, come to 20 books. So 20 books for £2, 10 pence a book. Happy days.
let me know in the comments if you like this style of video and what you thought of the books I got. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. It all helps. If you've made it this far, please leave me a like. And I'll see you in the next one. Right, I'm off to read a book.